Good morning guys, it's Tuesday. Welcome back to the new reading vlog. I have two books on this week's reading vlog that are top priority this week um, to get done before Friday because that is the 24 hour readathon that I take part in every month. At least try to take part in every month. So. The two books that I want to finish before Friday are, oop, they almost fell over. I want to finish A Court of Silver Flames. I've been sitting at the same pages for about a month and a half now, so I would like to finish this this week. I'm going to try and read a hundred pages maybe 150 but we'll see how that turns out because I work all day Wednesday tomorrow and Thursday so but I have today and Friday off to read a bunch so this is the main one this is the biggest one so I have that one and then I have Witch Shadow by Susan Dennett this is the fourth book in this series I don't know if it's the last book or not, but it's definitely the fourth book, so. And in the Witch Lands series, so I'm enjoying the series so far. I can't wait to see where this one goes. It's a lot less shorter than um, A Court of Silver Flames. So what I'm going to do for that is see how many pages a day I need to read of that and go from there. I already have prior silver, a quarter of silver flames marked down. So yeah, it's in the front of the book. I put it on a sticky tablet was when I was buddy reading it, but she went ahead and finished it already. So, but that's okay. But I have that marked down gonna go ahead and mark which shadow probably gonna average about a hundred pages a day so maybe a little more but we will see um an author Jacqueline Carey said it's fast-paced adventure and a wonderful tribute to the power of the binding tides of friendship so blurred by for which shadow blurred by Alexandra Bracken Robin Hobb Victoria Aveyard, Katie Elliott, and Cinda Williams Chima. So, I've read stuff by two of these authors, but not three of them. So, need to get jumped on. Robin Hobb blurbed it, so yeah, I'm all in for this. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I will check back with you guys once I've started reading and have an update for you guys. Okay guys, so I just cleaned my two main shelves. They are a lot cleaner. Minus the clothespin that's right there. But so much cleaner. Excuse the floor, I'll get rid of that in a little bit. But yeah, they needed to clean. So, at the top I have my Sarah J Mass, some Roshani Tchotchke, but it's, and a couple other books back there, but it's mainly Sarah J Mass. Here I have mainly all the same size hardbacks with some paperbacks. I have mainly series by favorite authors. Then other paperbacks and hardback series. This shelf is my mainly vampire shelf except for the um, Aragon series right there. Those two books 
I'm unhauling. The bottom shelf is my contemporary romance shelf. Then up here is mainly hardbacks, but it's Lee Bardugo, Susan Dennard, Carrie Menescalco, and all of those. Here, again, hardbacks and paperbacks. Behind my Disney water bottle, I have that trilogy. So, here is bigger series. I still need to finish getting I Am Number 4 series. I'm a few books behind on that series. Down here is mainly Cassandra Clare. I've got some books behind those stack of CDs. And then down here is Hardbacks, Middle Grade, and then my other smaller books. But yeah. That is what I just did for my bookshelf. I still need to put the little knickknacks back on it, but I will do that later. I'm moving my Harry Potter books somewhere else. So, but yeah. That, there's that. Hey guys, so it's 8.21pm, I have a serious reading update for you guys. So I started the day with A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Mass. I was on page 198, I'm now on page 404. I've read a little over 200 pages of this book today, and holy crap. Things are definitely picking up. It's sectioned in the YA section at Barnes & Noble. But the writing and the scenes in here are not young adult whatsoever. It's definitely adult. So you definitely need to be 18 or older more like 21 or older to read this book my opinion and I'm pretty sure everyone else's opinion who's read this because some of the sex scenes in here are crazy wow um i am enjoying it however so things definitely picked up around the 200 page mark so I've read, yeah, 200 page mark, things have started to pick up, so I'm probably going to read one more section of this book tonight, and then call it, because I do have to get up quite early tomorrow, so there's that, but let's just say it's amazing. I'm on chapter 39 right now. Almost on chapter 40. So I'm about halfway through the book. Yeah. About halfway through. So like I said, I'm going to continue with this tonight. I am watching Descendants 2. So, while I'm reading. So, there's that. But yeah, I'm going to go and I will update you guys most likely tomorrow when I get home on what page I end off in A Court of Silver Flames tonight. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, good afternoon. Sorry I haven't updated in quite a while. I haven't updated since Tuesday. Um, I'm still reading A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Maas, and I'm really enjoying it. When I started this Monday, 
I think I got to pay. I ended up on page, no, Tuesday, ended up on page 426. So I am literally like halfway through this book and I am really enjoying it. A live stream for reading sprints is about to start. I'm hoping to have this book finished before the 24 hour readathon that starts tonight at midnight. If not, this will be the first book I'll be, I'll be finishing off. I uploaded my TBR for that, for that already. That's up on my channel if you guys want to go check it out. And then I'm not sure if I'm putting the 24 hour readathon in this week's reading vlog. We'll see how much footage I have for that. So, but we shall see. And I am definitely going to be going out tomorrow for like a little over an hour, so I'll have an hour break because my best friend and I and some other friends are going on a dolphin trip with our aquarium tomorrow. That's really fun. My best friend and I did that a couple years ago and it was really fun and we wanted to do it again. So we're doing it again tomorrow afternoon. It's a little over an hour, 90 minutes long. So after that, I'm going to come back and just relax. So, but if I'm lucky, hopefully I can get a video or two of the dolphins. So we'll see what happens. We're going later in the afternoon. So hopefully they will be active. So fingers crossed for that but no I'm waiting for the live stream to start and I will update you guys at what page I get to at the end of the day hopefully I will have this book finished so it can get off my currently reading shelf it's been sitting on there for months but I am enjoying it it's really good so far Nesta is finally growing on me because I hated her in Court of Thorns and Roses. I hated her in that trilogy. She's growing on me in this trilogy, this book. So there's that. But yeah, I don't know why my Barnes and Noble had this in the young adult section, but this book is definitely adult. The scenes in here are, wow, um, that's all I have to say. Young children should not be reading this book. Let's just say that. The, the scenes, <coughs> there's some very, it's very, some of the scenes are very smut heavy. So children should not be reading that at all. When I go to Barnes & Noble tonight, I'm going to see if this book is still in the YA section. If it is, that's just crazy. It might be moved because a friend and I are talk talking about it and she says it's moved to the new adult section. So hopefully that is the case. If not, be warned going into this book, guys, because if you're 18 and younger, don't pick it up so but yeah I'm gonna go and I will update you guys once I start reading for the day but other than that I will talk to you guys later okay guys it's after midnight I forgot to start this 24 hour readathon vlog at midnight so I'm sorry about that but this is the start of the 24 hour readathon. I was in the midst of finishing up A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Maas, and I really enjoyed this. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, even though the first 200 pages was a little slow, but the ending really kicked off for me. So I really enjoyed it. Nesta did grow on me. I did not like her at the beginning of this, but after that, she definitely grew on me, so I am pretty happy with that. Pleased to say that I like Nesta now, and yeah.
this was crazy. Whirlwind of a ride and I think Aline's story is next. So we're going to hopefully get that story soon. So for the first book of this 24 hour readathon that I'm going to start is a short book. Obviously, I don't know why, but I'm still wide awake. I'm watching those reads kick off, kick off sprints, and right now, so, but my first book is Learn My Lesson by Kate Roberts. This, again, is Hercules, Meg, and Hades. Romance, whirlwind of a romance kind of deal, so that's what this is, and I started it. I only got 24 pages in when I started it. That's only like two chapters, so I'm not far in at all. But again, like I said, it started off. She started this one off really quickly, so yeah, I'm gonna read this tonight. Fall asleep at some point because. Like I mentioned, I am doing stuff later on the 24th in the afternoon with some friends, so I do need to get at least some sleep. So I'll watch this live stream and then most likely go to bed. So we'll see what happens and I will update you guys once I read more or finish a book. We'll see what comes first, and I'll update you guys later. Good morning, guys. It is 10.22 a.m. I fell asleep last night after the live stream, and I started, like I mentioned, Learn My Lesson. I am reading it right now. I'm on chapter 14, page 102, and it's really good so far. I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm liking the perspective. So, yeah. Um, I'm hoping to try and finish this before I leave to hang out with friends this afternoon. So hopefully I can finish it or close to finishing it and then read more when I get back. Um, we talked about doing the aquarium as well since we'll be right there anyway so that'll take up some time so you guys might I might film a little bit while I'm in there so we'll see but I'll um, definitely keep you guys updated so there's that but now I'm gonna go continue reading and I will update you guys when I'm I'm almost halfway now so, I'll update you guys when I finish this book. Um, this one, you don't necessarily have to read them in order because they are different. They involve different uh, characters. But this one, Hades and Meg are at a club in the underworld or outside the underworld basically and Hades sends Meg to succeed Hercules. That happens. Hercules thinks Meg is in distress and wants to be basically her knight in shining armor. So Hercules makes a deal, bargains a deal with Hades, which is a big no-no, and Meg finds out and she is extremely not happy. So, and then hate Hercules realized what he really bargained for and did not realize Meg is not a diesel in distress. So, Hercules got himself wrapped up in Hades. Hades basically runs a sex club in the underworld, so that's what this is basically. So. Like I said, this is definitely adult, so keep that in mind for younger viewers. So, but I am enjoying it, so it is a quick read, so I'm going to continue reading and I will update you guys 
Hey guys, it's much later. I was out a little bit longer than expected today, but it's okay. Um, but I did finish Learn My Lesson by Katie Roberts, and I really enjoyed this one. I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It was really good. I read the last 200 and something pages of this. So, pretty much read this whole thing today. Really enjoyed it. So I started to go for, yet keeping the trend of Disney, I picked up Go the Distance by Jen... Tina, and this is the twisted tale for Hercules. What if Meg had to become a Greek god? This follows Meg and Hercules after the event of the movie. So, Harina offers Meg a deal to become something and after Zeus practically turns her away from it. So, it's interesting so far. It's a quick read. I just had to get past the prologue. It goes between Meg's life from the past and now. So, it's really interesting so far. I'm enjoying it. I'm 58 pages. Yes, 58 pages in. So I'm pretty far into it so far, so I'm going to continue reading this until I go to bed, and I will talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, it's the next day, it's 10.42am, I'm still in my jammies, my haiku shirt, and I'm not getting dressed today until my best friend texts me because we might hang out later we'll see but today i'm watching back molly's live stream that she did on monday that i missed so i'm watching that back and i'm gonna try and finish go the distance today so i'm only 58 pages in but i'm enjoying it so far picking this up after finishing learn my lesson by kate roberts was a good idea so I'm looking forward to finishing this one and adding more books complete for this month because I don't have many books finished for this month at all. So that's what I'm going with. And since I did that with these two Disney books, I might do that with A Worthy Opponent and Straight On Till Morning because they both follow those characters, sort of. So gonna do that with those two like I did with these two books I'm reading because last night I finished during the 24 hours I finished learned my lesson and then immediately picked up go the distance because they are both particularly related so and the other two are Peter Pan related so I might do just that to get these books read so we'll see but yeah I'm watching back Molly's live stream going to try and finish Go to the Distance today. Hopefully I can do that. Fingers crossed. I will keep you updated and I will talk to you guys later. Good morning guys. It's Monday. It's 9.42 a.m. I got up not too long ago. That's why I'm still in my jammies. So excuse that. I did not finish Go the Distance last night, I ended up watching a Netflix original last night, and it was really good. Sad, but really good. It's a second chance rival. It's about uh, gymnastics. So, basically it has the same people as a second chance, which is the first one. So, I really like that about that. 
so, but yeah, I, I got to page 170 of Go the Distance, and I'm really enjoying it so far, it's really good, so I'm hoping to finish this today, that'll be book three for the week, and start something else, so, that's my plan today, is finish Go the Distance, so, as soon as I finish that, I will probably end this vlog, because I know I've got quite a bit of footage from Monday, and I did vlog a little bit at the aquarium. We did miss the boat trip, because we did not know we had to pay for parking, so, and they didn't wait. So, what turned out, what started out as a dull day turned into a fun day, so, we did the aquarium. But, yeah, so I have a video or two of that, and yeah, so I'm going to go wake up some more, read, and then I will update you guys later. Hey guys, good evening. It's 6.42pm, and I finished Go the Distance by Jen or Colita. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but I'm sorry. But I did finish this, however, I gave it a four stars. I really enjoyed it. I liked how Meg had to go on a quest in order to be with Hercules in the end. So it was really interesting how what they what a certain god who sent her on the quest made her do and everything that she had to get to to finish the quest. I really enjoyed it. It was really good. Solid four stars. That brings me to the end of this vlog. I finished three books this week, which I'm pretty happy with. I finished A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass, which I gave a 4.5, five stars to. And then I finished learned my lesson by Kate Roberts which I gave a four stars to then I just finished go the distance which I gave a four stars to so three books this week I'm ending on a Monday holy crap what is this um, but let me know down below what you guys read this week I would love to know and if you made it this far leave a thunderstorm rain cloud emoji because that is what it's currently doing outside right now. So, I will see you guys in next week's vlog. So, I will talk to you guys later.